Like he's revealed, he has a lasagna mm -hmm. before every single game. He only drinks filtered water. He, he also eats hearts and liver in his diet, right? Erling Haaland, a Norwegian football player who's become one of the best players in the world in a short period of time. Has his diet played a significant role in his success? Let's find out. Now, you might think that the key to becoming a football superstar lies in dribbling skills or lightning fast reflexes, but Erling Haaland has taken a rather unconventional route to greatness, the land of cow hearts and cow livers. Yes, you heard that right my friends. It's time to beef up our nutrition knowledge as we dissect Haaland's intriguing eating habits. So what's the deal with those cow hearts and livers? Uh, you love your food, I do. you're in good shape. What do you make of that? Hearts and liver? I mean, it's working, isn't it? Well, it's working for him. <laughs> yeah, sure. <Yeah. laughs> it turns out that Highland's diet has roots in traditional wisdom. Back in the day, parents and grandparents would feed these nutrient-dense foods to children to prevent malnutrition. After all, cow hearts and livers are chock full of iron, a nutrient that many people are lacking in their diets these days. Maybe our ancestors knew something we didn't, or maybe they were just trying to steer us towards a future of football greatness. No, I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Iron deficiency is one of society's main nutritional challenges today. It is more commonly seen in specific population groups, such as pregnant women, young children, and women of reproductive age. But iron deficiency can still affect men, although it tends to be less prevalent. The recommended dietary allowance of iron for adult men aged 19 to 50 is 8 milligrams per day. Men who engage in regular intense physical activities such as athletes or bodybuilders may have higher iron requirements due to increased iron loss through sweating and exertion. But you can have too much of a good thing. It's worth mentioning that excessive iron intake can also be harmful. High iron levels can lead to iron overload, which can have adverse health effects. Therefore, it's important to aim for a balanced and adequate intake of iron based on individual needs. So while Harlan's diet might seem outlandish, it could be a clever way for him to ensure his iron levels are up to par for optimum performance on the field. Plus, let's not forget the protein content. As expected, Harlan's diet is protein packed, giving his muscles the fuel they need to kick, score and make defenders tremble in their boots. Do you think any Premier League defenders are scared of you? I don't know. You, you have to ask people. Um... They'll probably say no, but... Uh... Now, I know what you're thinking. Should we all rush to the nearest butcher shop and start feasting on cow organs? Well, hold your horses, or cows for a moment. Harlan's diet is not a one-size-fits-all solution. Each of us is a unique individual, and what works for a professional athlete might not work for the average Joe or Jane. But he does eat food other than cow hearts and liver. Harland also enjoys a pre-match meal of lasagna cooked by his father. He's also partial to the odd sweet and sour chicken takeaway and kebab pizza. And likes to cook steaks and potatoes. What's your go-to meal to cook? I love steak. Steak and potatoes I love. One of my favourite ones uh, and it's also healthy, you know. Uh, perfectly medium, uh, almost rare steak and uh, some potatoes in the oven. It's nice. His snacks are not always healthy either. It seems he likes to have a treat now and again. You have to get this on camera. You see? My mother always brought it back from, from England when we lived in, uh, in Norway, so, so good. Oh. I mean, who doesn't like the iconic Percy Pigs? Occasionally, of course. It's been reported that Erling can pack away 6,000 calories in a single day, which is just shy of three times the recommended daily intake for an adult male, which is 2,500 calories. So what does Erling eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner? Well, a sports bible writer took on the challenge for a week and here's what he ate in one day. For breakfast, he ate four pancakes with one banana and 100 grams of Greek yogurt, which gave him around 965 calories. For a mid-morning snack, he had three scrambled eggs and two large avocados on toast, which was 1,100 calories. For lunch, he had 200 grams of calved liver with 300 grams of rice and veg, which provided him 735 calories. For a mid-afternoon snack, he had an oat and peanut butter smoothie and protein bar, which was 1,250 calories. For dinner, he had 200 grams of cow heart with 300 grams of pasta and veg, which was 870 calories. And for an evening snack, he had four 25 grams pack of beef jerky, one bagel with 120 grams of peanut butter, which gave him 1,259 calories. His total daily calorie intake was 6,179. After eating like Erland for a 
a week, the writer gained seven kilograms. So should you follow Erling's diet? In short, no, I would not advocate for a 6,000 calorie diet. While Harlan's diet is high in protein and iron, it is not a balanced diet and it may not be suitable for everyone. It's important to remember that everyone's body is different and what works for one person may not work for another. Now, if you're thinking about adopting Harlan's diet, it's best to consult with a nutritionist first to ensure that you're getting all the nutrients your body needs to perform at its best. But it's not just what he eats that's important to his success. Harlan's water filtration system and the importance of sunlight are also highlighted in a documentary called Harlan, The Big Decision. He stresses the importance of sunlight and how it helps him recover from injuries and to stay healthy. If you want to find out what a Norwegian diet actually looks like, then check out my video all about it. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. It might surprise you. In conclusion, while Harlan's diet may seem a bit strange to some, it's clearly working for him. And who knows, maybe Kel Hart's and lasagna will become the new superfood of the future. Oh wait, there's no such thing as a superfood. But hey, let's keep cheering on Harlan as he continues to dominate the football field. If you like this video, then literally hit that like button. And if you want to know about another celebrity diet, then let me know in the comments below. Catch you in the next one.